Yeah, just uh, guys, seriously, let's have fun and let's finish this thing. Uh, let's make another one. This is really great. It's much more, maybe not fascinating, maybe maybe not exciting, but it's something new. Uh, forget about the rewards. As a matter of fact, at least in my part, I don't really care about the rewards. I don't really care about the status. I don't really care about being in the Hall of Fame or anything. I'm just doing it because it's fun and we all have our jobs. We all have our lives to live. And if we can put something beautiful, something good into it, all the better. We got enough problems already. And yeah, it's just one way of getting rid of your problems. None of us are saints, no one's insane, and everyone's equally good. Mm -hmm. It's just that we're much better. We can see, we have this vision. Mm -hmm. We can feel what other players are gonna do. And you're gonna have to outsmart us. Don't beat the wall with your head. Don't think it's just one or zero, you know? Computer language. You gotta think, you gotta adapt, you gotta outthink us and yeah good luck with that all right two elephants have been bribed already that was a huge move there by immaculate but he gets the cap sack and you know kills a heap of units this is the kind of fight that i was expecting at this level lots of bribes going down right now but the scouts going crazy perfect timing that's a perfect time these guys are going to take the lakota city look at that Oh my god, Sims just lost his capital. I cannot believe it. All right, yeah, I, I, yeah, just, are you seeing this? Are, are you seeing this? What's happening here? It's a triple. They are going to triple Dragoneo. Dragoneo has no clue. Dragoneo's capital is going down, no doubt about it. Kron has got all his militia right there. I'm a huge fan of Young One. Young One came with three spies. That's enough to change the flow of the game. Would you say that EL is more of a democracy or a dictatorship? It's either I play or I don't play. I've been playing pretty good lately, so uh, watch out out there. Oh my god, just look at Zen Mechanics today. He just went for Science 5. Oh, and TNT just decided, f*** my city, I'm gonna help them. <laughs> this is a slap on the face for anybody who said the game was over. That was the best comeback ever in the history of Rise of Nations. It was neck and neck, man. It could have went either way. <laughs> Honestly, it oh, was yeah. really close. Hello. Hello guys, welcome to the stream. Joining me today is TNO from AZ. Oh wait, not AZ, Tough Alpha. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Almost yes. switched teams. Um, I want to make sure that the mic is fine. Uh, is everybody able to list, uh, hear me and uh, TNO properly? Somebody can confirm. TNO, can you say something? Hello. Okay, I'll just assume it's fine. Unfortunately, we don't have any um, hype video for this one, and I really miss Kron for that. He makes amazing hype videos. For now, we'll just start with acknowledging the donors, and looks like Boo has bet won two more bets. Um, I, I'm not sure who is this against. I know Momo told me that he lost a bet against someone. Could be... Could be... That? 20 from... Somebody who lost a bet to Boo, 20 from someone who <laughs> lost a bet to Boo. And Soren, thank you for a 20. 50 from Lat family. That's better a lot. Thanks, guys. We got 671. Another one from this one was for Kron when he lost a bet from Boo. So if you look at it this way, Boo has the highest donations. <laughs> he's the most, <laughs> he's contributed the most to this tournament. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Prolays, Threads, Moving Pictures, Lieber, Rochi, TNO, Me, Dave, Marvelous, Anonymous, Chicken Family, Phantom, Sermon, No Matter, Anonymous, Predator, and Connor McDavid. Thank you everybody for donating. We are doing very good with our prize pool right now, 671. 
out of a thousand i think this is great and yeah, absolutely yeah and let's quickly look at the progress of this tournament so far we've had we've had some nice games so far and i'll say in the round of 8 only one game was not 3-0 which was surprising only 3-1 where pla art of war lost one game against fusion before they made it to the final el beat their opponents with a 3-0 last time and on the other bracket was your team against az dragons and at one point i'll say it was very close 4-2 Absolutely. I think we had to sweat a little bit to get our win, but yeah. And I have to say AZ played very well. Great, really really great play by Dragons there. Unfortunately, they didn't win. However, they will they're still here. Remember, the loser of this game will play against AZ Dragons and the winner goes against Tough Alpha for the grand final. I'm excited. Let's check out the players for each uh for each team here on this side. We got Linky, Timeless, Angelo, Cossack, TNT. I don't think Cossack has played any of the games from Art of War. I don't remember him playing any. Oh wait, has he? I don't remember him playing. Okay. Just a shame because he's a great player. Then on the other side, Dave, Boo, Iris, Steez, and instead of Sims, this is Coin. I've heard that uh, Coin was purchased from Forvali for a hefty price, and hopefully it'll be worth the payment. for EL So uh you know are you ready to begin our first yeah, game absolutely. First absolutely. game is oh First game is on Himalayas and here we go by the way guys we are completely unspoiled for this game nobody has spoiled us so far and if any of you uh tells the results you might get banned for life so Do not don't even guess the result please. I am serious. I am very excited for this game. And players from both the teams PLA and EL, both the team players are required not to chat at all un- until we finish this because usually the winning teams the team players chat a lot and it spoils the results for us. Uh Tiano you're there? Yeah. The game? Okay, yep. let's start. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to quickly change some things here. So we got first game 3v3 on Himalayas. Uh in the chat a lot of people I'll just mention a few I can see Goofy Lomps uh Serge in disguise Buzz Eleni Hockey Star Prigu notice me sent by and yeah welcome to the stream guys. Um So EL has uh Steez as their tier 1 player, Dave tier 2 and Persians tier 3 Boo. Um What's your what's your take on these tier 1 nations, Japanese and Egyptians on this map? I think, I think that's, that's a really, really good idea, idea to go to Egyptians because this game well, well, this map, map tends to be a little gloomy. And uh, the mountains, mountains form a lot of choke points, points so, so it's uh, really, really hard to go aggressive, aggressive if you have a good map. map. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so I expect Linky to be taking a few wonders. Um, but, you know, on the other side, uh, Persians uh, is very good at border pushing because it's like a cheaper assist attack. Mm-hmm. So, so I expect Lu to try to take territory and secure the arrows. Um, and if they push the border a lot, then, you know, they could... Also, also transition to an aggressive play, play in classical new age. age. So, so, so it'll, it'll be an interesting match, match I think. Oh, hold on! I realize something happening. Wait a second. Uh, it looks like you have a. Um, there, there is some sort of. Uh, just hold on. I think I know how to fix this. Yeah. Okay. So this should be better now, guys. Can you tell us if he, uh, his voice is still uh, echoing or not? It should not be. I I I fix something here. Uh, Tiano, can hello, you say hello. something? Test test. Sorry. 
strikeouts. Uh, looks, uh, I, I think it's it's good. There was there were two inputs from you, one from uh -huh. Skype and one from my desktop. So now it should be fine. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. Lucky, actually, lucky for Linky. Look at that. He is spawned right in the middle, middle as in not in the flanks, and he has Papyrus right next to him. Yep. So I'm, a... I'm actually feeling positive for this Egyptian start, and everybody has everybody has spawned very far from each other. You know, timeless to go Indians against Americans. Great idea. The it, this one will be interesting because. <laughs> Americans may not get a wonder to build. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, they're going to have a hard time pushing Indians on this map because, you know, elephants are tough as shit. You okay over there? Yeah. Elephants against. And Egyptian, and... maybe. At least, I know. I'm expecting at least one wonder from, Egypt, uh, from Linky. I remember that game between. Uh, Mouse. Uh, I mean, Tough and. AZ. Hunters, I think, where uh, the uh, mouse played as Egyptians, and he got two wonders. And I, I was predicting that game to be in favor of AZ completely because there was no way a mouse could help. But eventually, mouse was able to two v one in the end. I, I'm not sure if you. No, I don't think you played in that game. That was Cold Fire Surge and Mouse. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, that was so that that game clearly showed us the power of Egyptians in the late game. But I will say Egyptians need to stay alive till then. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, Linky with his pocket position will be in pretty good place. Yeah. So on this side, three minutes and uh, Steez already has, is building his library. So that's very fast and that's exactly why we have these tier separations for nations. Uh, Egyptians are not known for being fast, but they're definitely handy when it comes to booming. Yeah, for sure. I mean, being able to get six farms, um, before you research commerce mm -hmm. and also getting wealth from your farms. That makes for a fairly decent classical opening, uh, well, ancient. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, I, I, I just realized, yeah, do you get farms from the, from the, I mean, wealth from the farm, so you already start with plus 10. At, it's almost like the Roman bonus. Yeah, absolutely. And Buzz is calling you handsome. Thanks, Buzz. Hey, <laughs> oh, thanks, Buzz. That, huh? uh, and Dongscope, I think Dongscope is boo. He says, I thought DNO was an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling people that I, I was 55 years old. So. <laughs> that, that's, that's good for disguise. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend thinks I am 55 years old. So. Oh, oh, my girlfriend thinks I am 55 years old too, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> because because uh, she sometimes wants to go to a bar and party, and I don't want to do that because I, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. Oh, dong scope is lube. Okay, yeah, because I almost I almost banned Wu from chat, but good thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, looks like looks like everybody is doing fine so far. The American and Indian player almost on at the same pace. Uh, looking at the rare resources, Dave here has got silver, horses, peacocks, amber, decent rares. In fact, yeah, it, there's even relics and relics here. Not sure if it will be securable, but uh, definitely more towards PLA. And sugar with Steez, salt with Boo. Nothing too crazy, but still, I mean, these are these. I think of all these rares as somewhat mid tier. Uh, silver, sugar, and relics are definitely top tier rares. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, having horses is pretty handy as well because they do have an elephant set. Oh yeah, wait, which rare are you talking about? Uh, horses. Oh yes, horses, horses, horses with Persians equals to Indians. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Indians get that bonus by default. It's oh man, uh, mouse dog. Uh, who is that? A mouse, is that you? Well, anyway, oh yeah, mouse just told me that he was. He, somehow he was banned from commenting. Maybe he has been uh, looking at. <laughs> he, he he has a very questionable browsing history. I know that <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> okay, well it, it's mouse, so I I think I can talk about it. Um, if you go to mouse's channel, <laughs> you can see mouse's liked channels. <laughs> Some things are questionable. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it too. Okay, then it's not a secret. That's great. 
on the on this side linky has got seven farms going for civic i'm actually surprised about this one i didn't yeah. expect him to go civic it's an interesting choice you think he'd go he'd go pyramids and call it and yeah give some a free city pyramids is i i think if you are if you can get pyramids and unless you get rushed within 10 minutes pyramids always pays off yeah, absolutely. I think it's one of the most underrated wonders. Yeah. Oh, just hold on a second. I realize I don't have a scorecard. So let me let me just put it up, put this up quickly. Okay. All right, guys, you're back, and the scorecard is back where it should be. Uh, boss says, Zosima suits you better. Yeah, is that from Dragon Ball Z? No, it's a, well, it's a Byzantine historian. Oh, I was sure that was the Dragon Ball Super character. Dragon Ball Super. Did, 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 have you watched it? Yeah, I'm, I'm even trying to think who it is. I mean, I haven't watched it. My friends are big fans. Okay, it's it's a I I would say it's a side character. Not uh, not if he was a villain, but I don't I don't I didn't like that villain. Oh, look no. at look at Dave's city build. Nice one, nice one. Really, he secured silver with that. Gets ton of uh, timber, and he doesn't have to be closer to the elephant guy. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Yeah, man, elephants are so annoying. Unless you have a senator, there is no way you can you can counter them. Yeah, exactly. Especially in classical and medieval, they're kind of unstoppable. Yeah, you can you can raid. Maybe uh, you you can have a heavy infantry and a and a, an archer chasing them, and that elephant would still get two or three villagers and make it back to the city safe. Yeah, easily. And with, like Indians, any attacks. with Indians, even easier because their elephant cost is about 94 food for the first one. Yeah, it's just, just ridiculous. Hey, Prolays in the chat. And looks like Steez is going for the other side, not with, the, not with Americans. So that means we're going to have a timeless versus day 1v1 eventually. Uh, if, you, if you look at the... Oh my god, no. These guys don't know about diamonds. Holy diamonds! Come on, there is yeah. They just missed it. Just Looks missed awkward. it, and come on. If if I look at their rares, there is silver on one side and papyrus on one side. Um, then there is silk, silk for the EL team as well. EL have also got gems. Actually, not sure if they know about it. Oh, they don't. They just miss gems. <laughs> Oh, crazy. I can't decide what's worse, missing gems or missing diamonds. I, I am slightly in favor of diamonds. Even though gems are great for aggression, you get closer to your enemy quickly, but diamonds with that that extra wealth and the commerce cap overall, that's great. Yeah. So Linky has done it. Two wonders. And the great part is he got both marbles and tobacco. Oh, he'll make it fast. Yeah, he will. And tobacco is, I mean, perfect for this kind of build. I'm actually very hopeful from Linky. Uh, let's be, let's be honest. El has a great record of winning. So if I, if I was a betting man, I would be betting in favor of uh, El, of course. So I am somewhere. I am rooting for a PLA, just because I feel they are slightly underdogs here. Yeah, I agree. 
Nice raids by uh, TNT. He just raided Silk. He looked at him. I mean, he sent his heavy infantry towards gems. Didn't find anything. He even yeah. pointed out that they're not using it. So, yeah, that's great. And he's going for Spice now. Will get it raided. Good job there by TNT, actually. While, while uh, Linky is booming, this is the perfect thing to do. And I, I also like their nation choices because... One way to kill Egyptians when the Egyptian player is making uh, Colossus and Hang Gardens is to rush one of the players quickly. And British is just the perfect nation to defend a rush. Yeah. And also the map position makes it kind of difficult for EL to put on a lot of pressure because uh, given the distance between their borders, um, it's pretty easy for PLA to just research attrition and stop any classical age aggression if the other side doesn't go dustman. Yeah, that is. And uh, Dave just got his pyramids. Good choice. Pyramids actually, actually a very good choice. Um, so he yeah. gets he gets a free. I mean, if not a free, but cheaper's third city. And I have I, I have to say something I don't like is I, I think Steve's put too many villagers on wood. He's at 140 wood income, mm -hmm. and they're due to that he advanced um, later than the Brits because he spent too many villagers on. Oh yeah, I I see what you're saying. You meant maybe first age and then put those villagers back, right? Yeah, because he's missing out on a lot of metal. So the way these players are playing here. It looks like the plan is to just outboom, try to outboom PLA. So for, I don't see much aggression. I don't. I don't see any point of aggression from the boo yet. He he has a barracks in a place where it looks like he's just trying to defend instead of. Do you see his barracks? It's in the middle of the two cities. Yeah. And uh, Timeless is good at doing a pretty good job raiding the raiders as well. And yeah. uh, actually, he's uh, taking the putting a cheeky merchant at the relics Whoa, so he's hold got on, hold on relics nice yeah that's, so he's got timeless. pretty crazy uh knowledge 110 110 oh my god yeah. that is indeed crazy i think we gotta say you know the pla's rares together they're pretty friggin' strong because they are every strong. one of them give give knowledge so Oh yeah, yeah, I just I just realized everybody every five rares all of them give knowledge compared to EL's rares. I won't say EL's rares are bad, but not many knowledge rares. This is obsidian here, and actually that's it. They have gems which they have not scouted yet. Then yep. they also have a spice here. Which wait wait a second, I thought uh, TNT rated that. But anyway, and th I think this is a second merchant yeah, from Boo that's going to go down on Silk. Yep, looks like it. Those British archers with the 12 range are just such a pain in the ass. That is. And, and they fire so fast. Yeah. Third city for TNT already down. Uh, if I compare the eco, TNT is not too far away from Stees, eco wise. Yeah. And I was, I know a lot of people asked me why British don't belong to tier one. And I'll just clarify again. For those people british of course would deserve tier one they are great but they don't have the fast starts and the only nations we have put in tier one are either they have fast start or egyptians would be an example just because they are hack in certain scenarios yeah i think that makes sense i mean their ancient age isn't really any faster than any other genera mm -hmm. but yeah just getting that wonder is very useful yeah, and all tier two nations, they are also tier two, tier three. I would I would say they're about the same. There's not much difference between tier two and tier three. Tier four, arguably, some are very bad. I I mean I know I I don't know if Russians has been picked very often this tournament. <laughs> Sir picked Russians once with uh, and and any a result that, that I think he would rather forget. <laughs> oh man, yeah, he was the spot with Russian and and. <laughs> That was that was horrible game. I remember that. <laughs> but yeah, so, some some nations are actually very bad. Uh, Buzz, yeah, something's wrong with the restream app. It does not update as often as it should. 
By the way, look at Linky's ego. Now, th that that window where he would, was vulnerable is gone. Yeah, look at that knowledge and wealth income. Yeah. You can make archers for days and still age pretty fast. Yeah. He... It, well, so, so wait, he's, he's got a siege factor here. And is he going to build a city or what? Um, just looking through Boo's, or Boo's perspective, Boo does see that siege factory actually. Yep. On the other side, Dave versus Timeless. Uh, Dave is, it looks like he is booming as much as possible. Um, trying his best and he, he's getting close now with his uh, knowledge income almost 100 compared to 120 for Timeless. Yeah, right now things are, I still think, in favor of PLA at this moment. Yeah, even the but score wise, it. EL seems to be in the lead. Oh, yeah, right. I just realized Dave destroyed that relics merchant and got his own relics merchant. Oh, that's smart. That was smart. That that did help in filling that gap. I think he's going to try to secure it now with the city. Oh, yeah, good idea. I mean, this. And he, he can make one more city. I, th I think the plan is for him to get this city and then get another one to uh, get even closer to relics or just build a fort there yeah yeah because he can he get he has place for another city yeah that's true with the appearance and he's the first one to age still doing really good getting a siege factory in there oh man look at one thing tnt i think is making a mistake is he's used too much food so he has the knowledge but can't age Oh, wait, how, how did he use all that? Yeah, he's actually quite behind in food income right now. Yep. Oh, man, and... Timeless is going to lose all of his army. Yep. Just for... Linky says too many, oh my god. <laughs> Linky is looking here and... Well, that's what? 11 archers from, from D&D. Damn. One thing I really don't like about what TNT did is he put his barracks in the front. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I see what you're saying. You know, if it, that gets sieged down. And, and like... just look at this. Seize on London. Wow. That's a smart play. Or not. Because uh, Linky did have a lookout there. And the worst part is Steez did this with Japanese without heavy infantry. Yeah, he doesn't have nearly enough units. It's just like cap. Or maybe it was just a distraction. I don't know. He's got a pretty good eco though. Could be just I still I still don't know if it's worth losing two sieges. Yeah, I agree. On the other side now I have a feeling uh Timeless is going to be in trouble because Dave has got um He's got a good army here, much better compared to Timeless, and I don't see a lot of uh, elephants coming out either. Yeah, I was really surprised that Timeless was so you know aggressive at uh, at the relics earlier because he doesn't have an elephant to cover for his army, and as the for facing the American player, you know you're always going to have less units. Yeah. So it was a very strange decision from him. And now this looks very troubling for PLA. This this could be the time. Like this is this is one weak point I see. Oh, by the way, look at that. Linky getting could get sandwiched or not. I don't I don't know what's the plan for uh, Boo here. Boo did try to attack from behind, but he just doesn't have enough units. Oh my God! I can't believe TNT still hasn't aged. He's had the knowledge for ages. <laughs> yeah, and he even had food. I remember the time when the London was invaded. He had. He had the food and uh, knowledge to age. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm also surprised he has no heavy infantry at all. Oh. Um, so his, he might have a lot of archers, but they're pretty vulnerable if they are not protected. Yeah. These archers are great in the background, but if you just, just enough heavy cavalry and they go down very easily. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Loop says Timeless is dead. And... I don't see him asking for help either. Yeah, I agree. And I don't see any castle going up behind either. This right, he has the metal for it too. Oh wait, just... 
Ooh. Hold on, there is this. so yeah, I, I'm just focusing here between Dave and Timeless because it looks like this is the game might end here if Bhopal is taken. I I don't know why Timeless is not bribing. Yeah, and not yet, he hasn't started bribing yeah. yet. And where are the elephants? Oh he's just making one now. Just oh making God. one, come on. Forty percent. And maybe more stables, barracks. He Equally, should get a castle right away. He could get commerce too. Look at the amount. Oh, he's finally getting commerce too. Great. And Dave did the right, made the right choice. Castle, military level three. Now Dave will have, yeah, Dave will have the extra armor. And I would say the time, the clock is ticking for PLA. Yeah, Boo had a really good engagement against Link as well. So I, I looks like looks like Timeless actually does have some units. Who doesn't have enough cross didn't have enough crossbows in the engagement, I think. Oh. But he had really crappy wealth income. So. You mean Boo? Um Dave actually. That's oh. Yeah, 117 versus 100. Yeah, he he has about the same no uh, wealth income as as Timeless. Yeah, he had a lot less for quite a while. Ooh. Wait, do, do they get wealth for every unit? Let me see, Americans? Yeah, they do get wealth, two oh, of them. Oh man, that's that's good. So wait, it looks like looks like a game won't end right now at least. Well, I but with, without armor and without like a castle, I don't, I don't see how Timeless would hold that. Yeah. Um, launch. I just wonder if Dave is I mean, Dave is going back. Oh, the elephant, elephant raid. Group. Elephant yeah. raids. Nice. Good idea. Very good idea. The uh, Timeless easily has more knowledge with him. Uh, he's, he's, he's got a lot. He's stacking a lot of knowledge. But anyway, game's fine so far. On this side, what, between TNT and... And Steez, Steez has got the castle, he has got the uh, armor upgrade, and he's hunting down this uh, army. Yeah, still no uh, pikemen from... Oh, but he's ca pop capped. Problem, problem is... Oh, actually no. I, th I thought uh, Linky would be a big problem, but look at looks like Boo is also doing fine with his eco. His knowledge is not as good as, as Linky. Linky is going to outage to gunpowder. And Linky is now going on raids. Uh, Relics just got taken down. Yep. And next stop could be Peacocks. And in a, in a professional game, everybody wants Peacock. So I'm sure Linky is going to raid that very soon. By the way, Steve's just got um, Forbidden City. Good idea. Yeah, for sure. The problem here is that Steve's now... I think Steve's is doing much better than TNT. In fact, Steve's could be on his way to age... For sooner than TNT. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he has way more text. On on this side, uh, I think uh, Boo Boo is doing also great. Oh, wait, what happened, man? I just I just saw Linky's uh, knowledge of wealth income, and it's horrible. It's worse, way worse than Boo's or Steez. I think the issue is his third city is too far, so his um, he only has one caravan worth. Oh yeah, I I don't understand why TNT and Linky won't double the city of Mashhad. This is so easy for them to double. Uh, it's kind of tough because um, he could just who could just go behind the city, and then both of their armies will be in the front at choke point. Ooh. So it'd be fairly easy to hold. Check this out. Uh, no armor for. Oh my god! Ambush from Dave. Oh, I think that was. Oh man. Oh man. N not uh, didn't lose much, but that's that's a very well protected city now. There's no way. No, actually, it was a lot of damage. Yeah, kind of just ran. Ooh, over there. check this out, dude. Check this out. Timeless actually might win this game. He's got a he's got a lot of resources for some reason, and hold on a second. 
why why isn't this silver rated as often as it should be yeah that's a good question timeless clearly sees that it's not even protected and timeless is going to outage day for sure yeah his knowledge income is insane yeah even though dave will get that literacy and he will be he, he'll have higher knowledge income soon i'm really surprised that timeless isn't making more elephants because he has the wealth and the food income to afford a yeah. ton of them. I don't also don't know why Timeless is fighting in front of this castle when he could be going behind. Guess he's trying to skirmish with this crossbows. Ooh. Yeah. He is losing a lot of units though. And yeah. nice raids by Timeless. Check this out. Horses are down. Yeah. Good yeah. elephant raids. Uh, Boo just asked to double TNT and Linky is aging. Thing is, once Linky ages, uh, yeah, once Linky ages, then it, it aging becomes cheaper for everybody else in the EL, and they have silver anyway. It looks like Boo is um, kind of, even though he has no wonder if he's doing the best uh, on the EL team. Yeah, he's about to age as well. He is about to age. 21 scholars for him, 21 sc 23 scholars for Dave actually. And uh, But I want to caveat that because um, Timeless denied Boo's uh, merchant at Silver. So he's actually just moving his merchant there now. Oh man, yeah. But I, I, I just feel that Timeless needs to ra keep raiding Silver. Yeah, for sure. He might consider putting a castle there, actually. Yeah. And, but mm -hmm. it looks like his army is not doing as well. Yeah, and these guys double Chester. And from the looks, it looks like they will take it. Yep, Steve has captured the city. I mean, well, Dave has got a crazy big army. Right, but with all those towers and forts, it'll take them a while to actually be able to take it. Yeah, the only problem here is that... I still don't understand why there are no elephants. Yeah, and, and why is Timeless taking these engagements? He doesn't yeah. have to. He can just sit behind, spam, uh, wait for gunpowder. Yeah, exactly. Gunpowder brings him the, his... his uh, <laughs> trump card for the civilization. Oh, by yep. the way, Linky is age four, and also uh, Boo is as well. But by the time Boo's upgrades take place, Linky will already clear everything here. And age yeah, four, age four back. brings those those heavy cavalry. They are much much stronger than just those those knights. Yep. Boo just says, "What the fuck, army?" I I don't know what he means by that, <laughs> but anyway. I mean, he should have went back. Yeah. So they take that engagement against heavy knights as you said. So Dave's aging, so is timeless. And Dave actually will age faster. And the problem is Dave gets free monarchy, which is another strength for another great strength for uh Americans. Mm -hmm. And then he still has a much bigger army. I don't yeah, see I don't see much ahead. I don't see much elephants from uh timeless that are going to instantly upgrade either. I'm very surprised that, you know, Timeless didn't go Elephants because he could have had much better engagements in Medieval Age mm -hmm. with Elephants in front of his army. Oh, by the way, check this out. Uh, Linky is actually, Linky knows that Timeless might die here, so he has yeah. a support barracks and stable here. Nice. Yeah, and a, and a general too. <laughs> I mean, he, and he's raiding all before. around the map, man. He, he, he's raiding uh, Sugar here. Yep. Got uh, heavy night. I mean, Linky carries really hard sometimes. I think he's probably the best player. Yeah. At the moment. <laughs> At the moment, yeah, his score his score is tied with Dave's. Uh thing is Dave not sure man. Oh Oh, these are still slingers, not even arc arcbusters yet. No elephants. Come on, no. No temple. <laughs> no temple, no. Timeless, you can't do this, no. On the other side, Linky versus Boo. 
It's it's somewhat tied tied here. Not sure who will who will take this win. It's gonna be tough to push Persian. Yeah, but but, but, but Steez is here, but he so only has one. should be fine. And somehow I don't know how, but somehow Dave still hasn't captured this. But he will get it. Oh, that castle! That castle could have been completed. Ninety nine percent. Oh, it it will go up. It'll go up. Yeah, I was close. And it's Timeless is making side. decoys. Okay. Still no elephants. The thing, I think Timeless just did not have... He couldn't get the right resources to spam elephants because you need to save on food and wealth. You know, he had a ton of food and wealth in, um, in Medieval Age, so I was very surprised he didn't make elephants. Finally, he is making elephants. Yeah, but it's a little too late now. So it's just a matter of time before this side dies. Yeah. Who has it unlocked? Now he has operations too. Well, he's about to get operations. Ooh, Linky just lost all of his army. Um, Boo still has got some things, and Steez still has got some things. Yeah. In fact, I'll say, I'll say, oh, Steez actually even got military level four now. Yep. I think it's. I was kind of surprised that you know they pushed so hard. Uh, and Mashad, because Persians, you know, obviously have the Arquebus Mortals, ranged heavy infantry. Yeah. You need a really big numbers advantage to, you know, overcome that and kind of And finally, finally, Timeless lost his city. Yep. Um, yeah. Steez here says, I should be able to take yellow out. I got military four. Yeah. Uh, Linky also has military four here. And somehow, these guys, the EL team players have a great knowledge income man these has got more knowledge than linky now yeah. and i'll say linky did have to somewhat double time here <laughs> he, he had to fight uh send a small army on the other side i think it's over um yeah. el won el will win this one now i have to say um you know a lot of questionable positions from tnt especially that uh you know, made him go really behind when he was originally in a fairly good position going to um, classical age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he stayed too long in classical age. On on this side, timeless did could not make enough elephants. Did affect his game, and and now Americans, well, it's just a ticking clock. Yeah, for sure. That that army is big enough. I think if even if Linky comes with all of his units, he'll still not be able to defeat that American army. Yeah. The, and Boo these can power take nations. These fights all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And Boo Boo is enjoying this choke point right here, as you said. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, with Archibus Mortals, I mean, I wish he has a few more of those, but it's just so hard. To he, he's a, he's having fun here. Yeah. Oh man, on the other side, let's see. Um, military level four, no, no, no middle four for TNT. Steez is just spamming units right now. Although I, I have to say, Steez's army composition is weird. He do, he doesn't have enough cavalry and no heavy infantry at all. Yeah. And wait, wait a second. Just a scout? Oh, he he doesn't have explorer. Oh, he hasn't built uh, smelters. Oh, that's why his metal comes so bad. He should be able to. He should be able to t take that army from from TNT. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's got. Yeah, TNT has got spies, which he's not using at point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, his army is super out of position. I don't know why he. Oh, would... just now he is going for uh, bribing, but it's too late. Yeah. Yeah, they should. He all should wrap this one up, at least. Yeah, on this side now, second city of us and Seoul will go down, and the timeless is just spamming. I mean, I don't know where. He, he, this is his third castle that will go down. <laughs> yeah. He's not gonna be able to get help. Hey, sermon. It's, it's DNO casting. Uh, what are you saying? 
if you research construction, uh, when that castle was still at relatively full health, you might have been able to get it up. Oh. Oh yeah, it even boosts your uh, finishing points. Like just if it's some, uh, it's like ninety five percent. It just makes it hundred. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, by the way, Dave is raiding Linky hard on this side. I I don't even know how he reached there. Oh, he has a stable here just for raiding. Yeah, he's got a dragoon. He killed a lot of villagers. He did. Linky's wood income is down. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, Dave's just waiting until he gets to 137 pot, and then just he's gonna just run timeless over. Yeah, and so far looks like Dave's the one with the best boom in the game. Dave will be best age power in pyramids. 406, 406 pyramids, and uh, not to forget peacocks. Yeah, for sure, peacocks is huge. That extra 10 population means you can have a full university. Yeah, and more. Yeah, and more. Ooh. Let me see. No, Timeless doesn't have the second armor either. Yep. These elephants <laughs> won't save him. Oh, and Dave even got... Dave even got... Yeah, he's bribing his elephants. Bribing his elephants. Oh, my God. That's the, that's the Dave we know and expect. And they're going for Chester again. I think once once the city of Delhi is taken, uh, PLA will call it GG. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they can call it now. There's no way they're coming back from this. Yeah, the highest uh, score is for Linky, and I, I don't see him winning any anywhere. Yeah. Oh wait, he is going somewhere. Oh, he's going oh, to he's... hell. But what's the point? I mean, he can. <laughs> Dave can two v one easily. Yeah, Dave will two v one here. Dave yeah. even has an elephant now. <laughs> His own yes. personal elephant. I know. And he sees that way. He he sees Linky's army. Anyway, uh, another thing is Linky was not never able to get that massive population advantage. Yeah. He had oh. well. There were a couple of difficult engagements. I I, I think he should have just not taken. That's the thing. I think you know with. Hey, Hanging Gardens is obviously extremely strong wonder with the plus 50, mm -hmm. but um, I do feel that Pyramid actually gives more of a oomph because you can get a lot more units with Pyramids due yeah. to the extra food yeah. and the extra city. That's right, that's right. An extra city, if you just build a university, that gives you an instant 10 knowledge income. So yeah, I, exactly. I, I, I honestly think Pyramids is great. In fact, if you have Pyramids with Amber, that's a very specific combination I would say is useful because then you can sell that food for wealth and you have a, you, you will eventually have a lot of food if, if with the pyramids. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, he could have turned that into light cab, into arquebus. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously also getting an extra city for uh, extra university, that's, I mean, as much knowledge as what guard would give you. Yeah. Oh, D&D is raiding, but yeah, I just think there's not much point. Yeah, I mean, it's all over, but... They did, the they, they, uh, D&D did raid the salt. The only problem is... Boo has got an insane... No I mean, Boo is le has the least knowledge among the PLAs. I mean, ELs, and everybody else in the EL is just doing great. Now, yeah. as soon as Dave ages to uh, Enlightenment, they, sh they should call it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty much it. Because I, I see, oh, Exeter, City of Exeter is under siege and 2 minutes, 30, 50 seconds. But yeah, that's pretty back. fast. That was very fast. I mean, Linky still, he's, he's at 86 pop, 87 pop now, from what I can see here. Um, and everyone on the EL side is well over 100, so. Mm -hmm. Dave says, well played, well to his own team, but yeah, it looks like it's over. Yeah, I mean, they played well. I think uh, there was a period in Classical Age where it felt like um, PLA was going to, uh, you know, they had a good platform to mm -hmm. build on for the rest of the game. Yeah, PLA had, PLA had better rares. They could have done it. And in fact, in the beginning, they even had some favorable 
uh, terrain. Yeah. There was no possibility for a rush. But yeah, it did not work out eventually. Uh, look at Dave's kill death against an elephant sir. He's got 2-2-1. Two, two, yeah, the <laughs> only problem is the elephants were never, never used in, in, in abundance. But Timeless yeah, is a great I... player. I'm sure there was something something uh, that we cannot see right now. Yeah. Highest knowledge. Linky, uh, Linky and Dave actually have a very close one. Steez as well. Steez got that um, Forbidden City. Mm-hmm. So that means another university. And also you can uh, kill all those villagers for food <laughs> that would give you food and wood. Yeah. And make university uh, as well. Nice. Uh, I'll just l- uh, quickly check the kills. Yeah, Dave has the highest ones. A- actually, everybody in EL has very good uh, kill to death ratio. Yeah. Everybody has a positive ratio and, and nobody has a positive ratio in PLA. DNT surprisingly has the highest kills. I think I, also the, the nation picks for this ma- for this match, I think the nations worked out better for Yale than it did for, uh, for PLA. Yeah, it did. I, I don't I, I just don't like Persians because I have to up- upgrade those elephants and they're expensive, but booted very well there. Yeah, I think Persians are a good pick for this map because they can go Civ 2 very safely. Mm-hmm. So they have a pretty good eco base. Yeah. Ooh, so that wraps up our first game. Are, are you ready for the second one on Southwest yeah. Mesa? Yeah, for sure. I mean, these are, that was a great game. I'm looking forward to more. Let me quickly update the score. You guys remember we're only we, uh, only four games have been played so far uh, any remaining games will be played later on it's because it's too it's too much to play seven best of seven in a single run the nations here inca spanish nubians versus french inca chinese What's your call on the Spanish pick here? I, I, I think, you know, if you're going to go Spanish on any map, uh, that's not water recall. I think this one would be it. <laughs> Is it for better scouting? Because these <laughs> these uh, mountains give a tough time for sending units. Yeah, exactly. And you know where all the rares are and your opponents' uh, rares as well. So you can raid and also you know, get all the rares on your side. So that's a pretty strong pick. Oh, just a second. Thanks, Sermon, for correcting me. And Inca for both the players, for sure. Of course, Inca on Hima- Himalayas or uh, or this map. Inca is a must. Then on the other side, you got Chinese versus Spanish. Chinese are Chinese are also good for booming. I I think they're they uh those fire lancers are great in h3 because they are almost like crossbows but don't cost wealth yeah so that's nice to have also bigger cities means you nobody's going to attack them till h3 mm-hmm. yeah i think maybe with the chinese are looking to uh push the borders a little bit get map control yeah and then there is a french player french i feel french is if you let them survive to late game french is unbeatable these these are some power nations like Americans, Indians, French. You let them boom on, boom for some time, and don't kill them early. They become a big trouble. Yeah, but the problem for um, PLA is they don't have any wealth bears. They just have to back up. And French needs a ton of wealth. Oh yeah, that's right. French does need a lot of wealth for those heavy cavalries and the archers. On this side, let's see what uh, I'll just switch to Boo's view so we can see all the rares. Uh, sp- silver for them, gems, gems is somewhere in the middle, still attainable. Steez could reach for die. Yeah, French actually. I mean, Sp- Spanish is not a bad nation for this map actually, because it, yeah. it, it's very easy to miss rares on this map. Yep. And the rares look much better for Yale. Yeah. Um, got a lot of top, like really good rares. 
Uh, everybody is spread out. I don't expect any aggression in the early game. Uh, by the way, oh, Dave got lucky. Bison right in his territory. Wow, that's uh, pretty powerful. That is... Looks like he bought 100 wood as well, so if he has three farms already. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool. He is, he's at 70 wood, 70 food income. And now he is sending another one, looks like, to, to die. Yeah, probably to die. I mean, not to die as in, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sil silver look, so far rares look good for EL if they can if they can capture all this and the good thing is then since they have the Spanish player they can actually strategize where to build so that you have these rares under control yeah I am going to uh, fast forward <coughs> to about 7 minutes so that we can see some action sounds good uh, where do you want to stop uh, let's stop at 7 minutes sounds good no Dave's asking, where are they? Yellow. Meanwhile, on the other side, TNT has TNT and uh, Timeless. They have just secured Sugar. So it looks like it's going to be Dave and Steve's versus uh, Timeless and TNT. Looking good on this side. And on the other side, it's going to be Spanish versus Inca. Ooh, it reminds me of your game. You remember you were Spanish against Linky's. Inca. Oh my god, I'd rather forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was... I, I don't blame you for that too much because you had a slow start and on top of that you were against the Inca player. I know, and I deleted one of my starting villagers. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. Wait, did you delete them? I deleted one of my starting villagers by accident. Oh, god. <laughs> so I was trying to move the, my city location, but I deleted the villager instead. Yeah, on, the, on this side... Uh, Boo clearly, clearly has a faster start than Linky. He, uh, Blinky is just getting his second city while Boo is actually going for military one, right? Very good for him. Hmm, I'm surprised how, how well Boo is doing because he didn't have a ton of runes. Yeah, and uh, so Boo is using this bison that instantly saves uh, about 120 wood. Yeah, that's true. Could have been used for farms. That means he could get a, a market actually. Yeah, plus seventy, you know, the seventy food for the villagers. Also that yes. Uh, Dave's rating here, and uh, actually TNT is doing uh, all right. Yeah, D Dave and TNT are doing about the same. Um, on this side, Timeless also doing great. The thing is, Inca player is going to be very strong on both the sides. Yeah. For the French player, well, oh man, come on, come on, no. TNT is getting a market, but it's not near Sugar. I'm surprised. Yeah, that's a weird choice for a market. I see that he wants it to be in the caravan route, but would have been much safer for everybody. He could just take it, make a tower to cover his caravan. Yeah. Oh, and check this out. TNT's salt merchant is visible on this side. And uh, this is another good part of, about being Spanish. You can just selectively go to rares and raid them. You yep. don't even you don't even need to uh, scout anything. And in fact, about, another good thing about Spanish is you exactly know wh where the opponent's woodcutter camp could be. Yeah, that's true. And they got a good amount of a good rares, man. Silver, gems. These are two wealth rares. Um, they're towering everything. I see Boo. I mean, Dave is towering Bison. Boo is towering Spice. Unfortunately, they cannot tower Silver. But I, I would guess that they want to grab that uh, gems in their territory very soon. Yeah. And it's such a pain to raid that silver. You have to go all the way around the mountain as well. That's right. Yeah, it, it's going to be a pain. It, it, hmm. Linky is sending a villager. Uh, but no, it's. I don't think it's for raiding. Anyway, uh, Link, actually, I feel that gems 
could be very much reachable for Linky. Yeah, but I don't think he should do. He would go set two. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think he would. So I'll just guess Linky's strategy. I think he'll do exactly what he did to you. Despot rush. Yeah, it looks like it. Because that works but, very well. If you if you're left one v one, that works very well. But uh, it looks like yeah, it was much faster. Yeah. Who is aging on this side? Linky will age. Linky, I mean, eleven minutes. I don't. I don't think it's the best aging time. Oh, nice raid at salt, by Linky. Yeah. And nice raid at Chan Chan by Timeless. Yeah. It's picking up a few villagers. It's it's clearly looking like a rush from El. Both of them are going stables. I think French would be vulnerable to Inca because he doesn't have um, the wealth to make a ton of uh, heavy cap. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't have as much wealth. 46 wealth. Uh, Dave has got much, much better wealth than that. 98. That's great. Oh, Dave, actually, I think he's, go I think he's going to rush the city of Riom. I think so. Are you, seeing, uh... are you seeing that? I think he's gonna go uh, just a uh, hot light rush. Well, phalanx rush. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that looks like a phalanx rush. Uh, I don't see much from. I don't see much from uh, Steez at this point. Oh wait, he's yeah. going somewhere. Is he going for? I think he's going for Paris. Or Cusco. How do you say where? Oh, he said Busco. I don't know. He could be going to Cusco okay. or uh, or Paris. Oh wait, no! TNT is going all by himself. Come on, no! And with no heavy infantry. Yeah, just one chevalier. He also, he is despot. Wait, is everybody despot in this team? Dave hasn't gotten a government yet. Just okay, pretty yeah. smart. Linky doesn't have a government here either. Yeah, they, that's, let's just see where... So these have five heavy infantry must go somewhere. Oh, wait. I, I was checking the wrong unit. I, I actually clicked on Steez. Steez has 98 knowledge, wealth, not yep. Dave. Dave could have. He 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 does have a die right next to him, which he could use for wealth and knowledge. Both are useful. Yep. Problem is, uh, Despot with French, I think Despot with French needs to be played very carefully. One wrong move and your game's over. Need to preserve that army. TNT is floating 400, 450 wood yet. Oh, no. Um, but wood's not what he needs right now. Yeah. He's only got two uh, Chevaliers. I mean, meanwhile, Let's... check this out. Uh, Despot for Linky. And I see Bo is trying his best to to Bo's annoy Eco's him. Buziko is much bigger. Yeah, Bo Buziko is much. He he got senator, but he will never be able to match the income wealth income, which is the sole point for Inca to dominate. Right, but at the same time, Spanish can scootery, and um, they shred all cavalry. Yes, right. So that that negates the heavy. And the heavy cavalry from the Inca. Yeah, that, that is right, actually. Uh, Spanish are also great, great against elephants. Yeah. I mean, they're slow to start, but, you know, Boo had a very fast start, so yeah. it's going to be tough. Oh, lo so looking good for the PLA team on this side. Uh, I think just, um, you know, as long as uh, Steez gets his heavy cavalry army up. That'll be that'll be just fine. Yep. I, what I don't like is I the think Steve is putting he's putting too few villagers on on mines. He should be oh. having like 10, 20, you know, fifteen at least. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Oh man, Steve has to pull his militia. Fight this. 
Yeah. I mean, he shouldn't have to do that. He's Inca. So, you know, he, oh. he's putting himself in a bad spot. That is right. Oh, and here comes Dave bribing a cavalry. He will get it. Yep. I don't know. Kind of strange for them to be taking this engagement, but uh, I guess they're feeling confident. Hmm. Yeah, I don't feel. I'm not feeling very confident in them. They lost. They lost all their units. Oh man, no. It, it did hurt Steez though. Yeah, it did. Yeah, That's Nubians. Big. They have great archers for classical age as well. So. And meanwhile, on the other side, it looks like. Uh, Linky isn't really making any headway against uh, Boo at all. Yeah, Boo, Boo has been pushing him constantly. The, now, the thing with the spot Inca is, if they keep fighting, they will get resources whether they win, whether they kill or they die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's a pretty good deal. Very good deal, overall. For now, and uh, yeah. Linky has Looks got like a lot of resources. Just... I feel I feel Linky just needs to keep spamming units and he's fine. I don't I don't I don't think Boo should be able to win this uh, uh, on this side. There is no way there is no way he can um, outdo Inca. Yeah, that's true. It um, looks like he'll age faster. Um, Linky, that is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also that. Also that. Linky has a lot of food. He which could be sold. I mean, not sold. For Civic two maybe. Yeah, Civic 2, Science 1, click up. So on this side, I mean, looking at Timeless and TNT, well, after that defeat, they not looking very good against... Well, maybe maybe it's all right. It's, it is not much difference here. Yeah, Steez is still... He's got fewer workers on lines now, so... Yeah. He needs to put... All of his food and wood villagers to, to, to mines as far as I'm concerned. So between Boo and Linky here, things are looking very dire for Boo. At least for, uh, Boo is ga uh, Linky is gaining advantage. Oh, I just realized Linky ha Boo has third city. Linky doesn't. Yeah. Second wave of the French is here. I must say, uh, Timeless and T TNT is actually playing very well compared to last game. And Timeless doesn't have as many units. I don't know why. If he if he wants to attack next stage, maybe tell TNT about what? that. It looks what? like he invested all his income into uh, into Eco, and his Eco is pretty good. But he's got. But I think of, he's got a lot of resources. Yeah. What's the plan? Whoa, look at Chan Chan. Chan Chan seems very open. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I think uh, if he could. It would be pretty smart for TNT to pause in the Russia and try to just take Steve's second study. Be... You know, there's some... some background I can hear. Everything okay? Oh yeah, everything is fine. Okay. That's my girlfriend talking. Okay. The... Oh, Linky is aging. I don't know why he doesn't have uh, more siege, but anyway, it looks like Boo has got this under control for now. Yeah. And Boo might age as well. Yeah, Boo won't. Once Link, Linky ages, Boo gets even cheaper age with that. Yeah, and Boo gets crossbow, whereas Linky doesn't. Yeah. Oh, Timeless also aging. Let's see. Oh, nice raids by Timeless. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. A few villagers yeah. got picked up at the mine for Steez. Yeah, he's denying first. While I am very happy for TNT's army, I just feel like Timeless doesn't have much and 
going to be trouble. Steez is flooding too much, too many resources. He should be making more units. Yes. So okay, way Winky decides to go Colossus. Colossus. Okay. Oh God. And look at this brave Incas villager <laughs> at Beijing. Do you see this? It's kicking away at that library. Holy yeah. crap, he did a lot of damage. A lot. That, that library is, what, 20% damaged already? Yeah, that villager. Just imagine Timeless realizes after 30 minutes that he clicked to H4 and didn't go because that villager finally succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the play of the... Well, the, probably the best play we'll ever see mm -hmm. <laughs> in a Rising Nation store. And Steez is actually, I don't know if I say struggling or not. No, not struggling, but... Mm. Dave has got a huge army on this side. Yeah. So is Linky back for another attack? They, oh, Linky is going commerce to good idea. Dave almost has 100. Wealth income, so uh, I mean, I mean, Boo almost has 100 wealth income, so looks like he's uh, gonna be able to stabilize for a while, yeah. As well. And that spice is helping, and the other two rares are also helping for yeah. the and uh, like... TNT is also getting decent uh, wealth now 75, not too bad. And once yeah. TNT ages, H4, H3 uh, French is huge. I, I think they should pull back and come back after H3. I think maybe you're trying to force. Uh... And, and on this side, I see Timeless is fighting, but Linky is standing behind. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, bad communication. TNT ran away. Timeless. In a bad position there. Yeah. And here comes another uh, attack from Linky. Yeah, like you said, having a you know both despot and having the inclination bonus just means that they get so much of their uh, wealth of their uh, resources back. Yeah. I don't know why is Linky hurrying up with small armies. Maybe accumulate some units and come back. Yeah. Or well, speaking of accumulating units, look at how much how many units TNT has accumulated. Wait, you mean killed? TNT has accumulated a lot of units. He hasn't lost his army in the big that fight. That is great. That is exactly how you play with French Despot, actually. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Brigo TNT is using the uh, stand ground stance at this point. Yeah. Oh, man. Linky keeps losing his yeah he keeps losing his sieges but anyway looking good so far against his opponent I I am hundred percent sure that Linky will kill his knowledge income is great wealth income is double that of Boo with that yeah that Colossus is helping yeah absolutely so I really want, I really want to know if these mace men inti mace men are good against cavalry they are. Because they I do get an attack bonus. I did a 200 NT versus 200 elephants, and they did not kill. They killed about four elephants. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. 200 NT killed four elephants. But they were dead. So I just assume if they don't work against elephants, they probably don't work against other cavalry. Well, they do get a bonus against cavalry, but they also take bonus damage from cavalry, just like regular. Um... Oh, man. That's regular life. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. TNT actually captured a city. Yeah, this yeah might he be captured the, it. This might be the first game where EL looks like they're in trouble. Yeah. And I, I guess as long as Timeless doesn't commit suicide with his army, these guys are doing very good. Yeah. I don't I like how Steve's played this game. He seems, you know. I don't think he's using his inclination powers to the fullest. Yeah, that that is right. The Inca and Linky has got a much better eco than him, of course, because Link uh, Steez lost this. Ooh, yeah. I want to say that 
The despot, the TNT's despot is out of the range. A lot of these units are dying without healing and yeah, no, that's really bad. That is really bad. The and he's lost. not getting plunder from this despot either. That's also right. And he he just ran into those archers. All of his heavy infantry are dead. Yeah, that was the bulk of his army. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, looking very difficult. Oh, are they actually going back? I, I don't know if they're on voice chat or what, because I just see TNT just goes back on his own. <laughs> and then Timeless sees him and then he goes back. <laughs> <later>. <laughs> yeah, giving them that one window to double the feed in detail. Yeah. Uh, Linky finally built his third city, getting a university. I don't know if he realizes about the other city. I don't. I'm. I'm sure other other side is doing great. Oh, by the way, check this out. Check this out. Uh, double rage from Linky and Timeless at. Yeah. Words. Nice, nice. They they have to start towering for. <laughs> so at this rate, I I'm sure Linky will be in gunpowder very soon with that, with that kind of wealth. Uh, yeah. Colossus. He's 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 in a great position. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it doesn't really matter that who wins these fights because he has no scholars. Yeah, he's just got so 61 knowledge. In fact, the whole EL team... Actually, no, EL team is doing fine. I'm being too harsh on Dave's EL. Doing pretty well. Yeah, Dave's doing pretty well. not TNT though. TNT, after losing that fight, TNT has lost almost everything. Yeah, I think it's... It all depends on how fast... Like also, he... I think no Dave is the only player so far who has the armor yep it's the thing with dave his play style is very clean yeah he is whoa another another attack another attack here And TNT captures that city again. Yep. I, I guess as long as he doesn't make that same mistake where he has his despot in a wrong position, he sh they should be... They should win this. Yeah. He's getting... I see a lot of plunder coming from his side. Meanwhile, Linky is back again. And somehow... Yeah, Boo not looking very good here either. And... Oh, TNO, oh, no, no, sorry, TNO, TNT. <laughs> oh, by, the, by the way, why, do you have, why is your name TNO? Is there any story behind it? Oh, it's uh, nameless one. It's probably my favorite game, landscape one. Oh, and and TNT is that another random name or? <laughs> well, I think he's just he's an explosive player. He wants the world to know. Okay. <laughs> oh, he, uh, TNT just lost his despot. Yeah, that was smart to snipe that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that nice. was that was. But it, it, f sad thing is that that's not the right time for them to push back. Else, this would be a good time. Oh, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Uh, Linky versus uh, Boo. I, I I don't think Boo should be running into. I mean, Linky should be running into that army. Yeah. He either either he just wants to keep fighting and get that refund or something. I don't know. Which is may not be a very bad idea. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. As long as he's just forcing Boo to keep fighting and not uh, invest in scholars. Yeah. That could work. 104 knowledge for Boo versus 155 for Linky. And now Linky also can go for literacy. Yep. Linky is also going for gunpowder now. I mean, not gunpowder. H, uh, military 3. Yeah. Oh, by Stay the way, there's a sure. city of... Tiwa, Tia Huana, Nako. Why wouldn't Linky go there? That that sounds also nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. He was, looks like he was trying to take it with a single pikeman. Yeah. And it looks like he will go there now. <laughs> oh, and check this out. Check this out. Boo going somewhere, probably. Could, could, could he be destroying the Colossus? I, uh, yeah, I think he's denying the Colossus. I don't... I, I'm, I'm sure even if Linky loses the Colossus right now, not going to be too big of a deal. Although it will hurt, but his knowledge income is still going to be about, what, 200? 
Oh shit! What? Dave denying Dave denying Timeless's castle. We're s starting to sense a theme here. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, you just time <laughs> Timeless <laughs> is. Oh man, I just imagined the anguish. Oh shit! He didn't even delete it. It was just denied. Oh, and Boo is going. Boo is really going for that Colossus. And Linky will try. I don't think Linky will make it. I, in, in my opinion, Linky just should try to go back and capture the Boo's army. That Colossus is gone now. Yeah, yeah there's no point. He might just go siege up Arachnids and take the city. Yep. Oh, double on Steez and uh, Dave doubling here. <laughs> what What is Tyler thinking? Just walking his army in like that? It's like, <laughs> what is what does he expect? What exactly was he trying and, to And Dave with? actually did lose a lot of units there, I think. The problem is, I, I don't know how does not anybody in this team, TNT, Timeless, both of them don't have I mean, uh, and he armor. moves his units way back so that he doesn't stop the city capture. Uh, just... Oh, by the way, by the way, Boo is actually going all in here. I mean, he is not even holding back. He is going for that capital of Cusco. And he, it looks like he has the units. Yeah, I mean, I think that's smart because uh, Inca can't fight Spanish in medieval age. Yeah. And he's, I mean, his army's shredding. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Boo has 99 kills, 100 kills, and six units lost. Damn. So he might actually be able to take it. I have no clue how 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 this game got turned around. What happened here? Come on. Uh, TNT doing very good. Yeah. Uh, so just if you see, Steez, Steez's Inca is destroyed. That's for sure. Yeah. And TNT going on double. Oh my God! Linky actually lost his capital. Yep. I can't believe this. Yeah. That was a great move from. That Blue. was a great move. I I think Linky could still win. I'm not. I'm not. I, I am pretty sure Linky could still win this game. Yeah, because Boo has no knowledge. <laughs> yeah, Boo doesn't have, but still, that delays his death for some time. Not bad. Absolutely. I mean, it's like Boo just decided, you know, I'm not going to be able to out Eco or out mm -hmm. tech an Inca player. So let me just invest all my units into military yeah. and see if it pays off. And it did. And Boo actually could, I mean, Linky could actually age very soon. The problem is if Boo loses all of his army, even with that plunder, how is he going to get that back? Get like three, three more towers. Meanwhile, uh, TNT is rocking with that sixty <laughs> knowledge income since forever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, Linky actually captured another city. Check this out. He is yeah, <laughs> with that one pike. With that, that pike one pike, man. This is this is crazy, man. Really the great play pike. by Linky. This is really great play by Linky. Yeah, oh, Steez is just falling apart, but he's and, Inca, so he and can come back. H age for linky uh let me see who else is close to aging dave could be oh yeah, actually, dave. not dave uh yeah i just yeah dave actually could be close to aging timeless not so much even though his knowledge income i, I think he could he has the knowledge to be on par with dave no silver though and what's happening here these guys split up their armies for some reason oh because of the city i see but yeah, anyway, the game's going to be Linky killing faster or Dave killing faster. And for some reason, uh, Boo isn't researching science too right now. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Looking very close. By the way, Dave went oh, on Dave. Oh, ambush, ambush. This happened last game too. And, uh, yeah, but but I don't <laughs> so I don't know no how this is going to work out. Ooh. Oh god. And oh god. That also Holy did... shit. I can't believe they've actually got the better engagement here. This, usually <laughs> ambush is a very bad idea. <laughs> he waited, and it was the right thing to do there. Damn. I can't believe there's no scout for it. and finally he gets a scout Damn. meanwhile oh, yeah. apparently he just ran away dude, I, I hope I hope TNT realizes that he needs to make scholars at some point 
I think it's too late for him to come back anyway. I don't think it's a bad idea for him to just go cool. in here. Yeah, I, I feel like now Linky could. Like, I mean, Linky should be able to uh, raid pretty hard for everybody. Yeah. And every, everybody just send their merchants to Salt after that city got captured. Yep. Whoa, whoa, double on Dave and Steez. I want to remind the viewers, EL only lost a single game throughout the last tournament. Oh shit, he's, they're calling GG. Whoa. Well played. Well played. I did not expect, I was expecting Linky to win, but... Linky to win while uh, maybe <laughs> uh, Steez and Dave were strong here, but it looks like these guys did a great job. Yeah. And I won't say it's about any rares. EL did have nice rares this time. First, yeah. Bison for Nubians early, Silver. Uh, gems for not too long, though. Die. Yeah. On the other side, they, they and they had Salt for a while until it was captured recently. Something I think POA does really, really, really well, like very, very well, is raiding. All three of them, Timeless, yeah. TNT, Linky, they all raid constantly. Just yeah. denies all the all the rares. Um, Mouse says TNT should kill very easily, but his micro is bad. I'll <laughs> give him breaks, man. <laughs> oh, units killed. Um, Boo, great play there with Spanish. I think that's the, that's as good as you can do against uh, Inca. Yeah. TNT did great. Everybody did great except Steez this time. Uh, I think I think he just couldn't get that critical mass of army ever. Yeah, I mean, what, when I saw that he had like five villagers on the mines in Classic Age, mm -hmm. I, I was very worried about him because that's not how you play Inca. Yeah. Damn, very, very well played on this side. Uh, are you ready for game number three? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, let me quickly... Wow, score 1-1. One, one. Great. 1-1. One, one. EL's first defeat. Yeah. Uh, in the last tournament, EL did not lose a single game in their uh, in the semifinal. And they lost only one game in the grand final. This time already looks like BLA is looking strong. Just give me two minutes, I'll be back for some water break. Yeah, I'll take...
Oh guys, we're back. Let's check out the nations. This is Sahara, third map. Very offensive. I mean, aggressive, not offensive. Although it says offensive, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it, 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 like these nations are <laughs> cursing each other over. <laughs> Mongols, Lakota. Great choice for tier one. Lakota, special. Lakota. I used I used to be a big fanboy of Lakota, and now I am less of a fanboy just because I've noticed on land maps Lakota have a big trouble with their wealth late game. Yeah, that's true. Um, Mongols great. I think Mongols are, are as fast as Lakota very likely, and plus those free cavalry are useful for raiding. Yeah, for sure. Nubians. Just a second. There's some background noise. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, Nubians versus French this time. Oh, and Coin. Coin loves his French. You know, are you there? Okay, I think he's paused for some time. Anyway, uh, Coin with his French. This is a reverse this time, Nubians and French. Koreans versus Maya. Uh, you back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. So yeah, French and Nubians, Koreans and Maya. Looks like uh, for EL could be aggression. I mean, Mongols are great for everything. Yeah, for sure. You got boom, great kill, one of the best. I I sometimes feel like Mongols are, are much better than Japanese even. I think in certain situations, absolutely. Even, even uh, Germans are great. I I don't know why they have a very low win rate. Hockey stars. Uh, a list of win loss for each nation shows that Germans are doing pathetic in this tournament. I think it's a pilot, not the nation. Yeah, could be that because Germans. You remember Germans get that smelter in age one. That is by itself a very strong power, and the completion bonuses Germans can get about hundred metal income, the fastest in this nation in this uh, all among all nations. Yeah, for sure. I mean, probably a loss at Lakota, I guess. But absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you you could get. Uh, I mean, for Lakota, you still need to get a lot of villagers, but Germans, you can just have a smelter and a plus six. That's yeah, it. That's, you're you're yeah, done. That's true. French with horses, not too bad. Whoa, French with horses, die and wine. All these are nice rares to have. <laughs> Oh yeah, and they have fur. I think with fur, I have French could be a tier two nation, possibly even tier one in my opinion, because um, they just need that mill two to get going. Oh yeah, with that yeah, with that mill two and the supply wagon, I am sure uh, Coin is going for uh, Despot. I'm going to put a wager on that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Coin is very uh, patriotic. As a Frenchman, he always plays. French, <laughs> he, always... And he plays French really well. <laughs> Oh, meanwhile, uh, so Linky went in the center. Nobody else went for the center. And uh, Timeless is going to use that. Uh, he's got a plus eight wood camp with Lakota. Not bad yep. at all. Um, Nubian player also doing fine. He's got Spice. Uh, let's look at the rares in the back. Oh, they, there's a diamond in the back for Kelly and salt. Yeah, wait, diamond. That's in the corner. Yeah, diamond. Silk Bison. here. Oh, they just found uh, Pyrus. Pretty good rares. Yeah, they don't know about diamonds yet. But with Lakota, I don't think it'll be hidden for too long. Yeah, I'm going to find it. Wait, are there two diamonds? Hold on. I see there's one diamond. Yeah, there's only one diamond. Yeah. That's a good number of diamond that is. Yeah. Um, silver for EL this game, this time. And uh, they'll definitely capture that. So if I had to if I had to say French versus Koreans, there is no way in the world Koreans are going to win. French, yep. French will eventually win for sure. Uh, let's, let's quickly fast forward to eight minutes. See some action. Yep. Here it comes. Oh, hold on. Check this out. I'm gonna unpause. I'm sorry. Six minutes. <laughs> Unpausing here. There's some action here. Yeah. Oh, Dave City. 
got caught off guard. Nice one by uh, Linky. Actually, he 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 stopped that probably around 90, 90 some percent. Yeah, that was a great anticipation to go for nil one. Yeah. Because he saw the silver and expects the fast sip. Yeah, that was actually a very good one. And I, I, I maybe he bought some food to get that fast sip one or whatever it does. It just worked great. I think so, yeah. I think he bought it. He bought it. Or maybe he went mill one first. I, unfortunately, I didn't check, but I will be curious to, to see that. <laughs> yeah, Linky is not even stopping his villager. He, he has made three heavies now. And <sighs> meanwhile, Boo just got his military one done, putting down barracks. But yeah, that that would affect. And that was a great call by uh, Linky for sure, because if yeah. that mine city was down on silver, there is no way that would get raided ever. Yeah. And, and now Linky is getting his Civic one, so this silver actually belongs to either nobody or PLA. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't say this often, but uh, with when it comes to Dave's plays, but mm -hmm. I have to say I don't really agree from trying to finish that city there. Um, since two hoplites, there's no way you can. Yeah, I mean, I, you can have twenty villagers building the city, but with two hoplites, you're not. Yeah, with not two hoplites, you're right. It's it's too much. Oh, by the way, nice one here. Uh, sugar. They're using sugar. I don't know if they know about diamonds right now. Oh, they just missed diamonds. Come on, they just missed diamonds. Oh man, that's that's and, one tile to the to the right and, or left. El El doesn't know about diamonds either. Oh my god, another one. Linky just caught Dave again. Yeah, this is a disaster. But that's fine because. Uh, Boo's archers on the way. Yeah. Should be okay, I think. Yeah. Ooh, but still, I mean, all, all this, all of the, <laughs> the waiting for uh, Dave, he, he has lost so much eco because of these raids. Yeah, fortunately, though, he's mine, so it won't take him long to come back. <laughs> but he does need another woodcutter now. Oh, and here comes a raid. I mean, villager raid on first. <laughs> yeah, I think time loss will probably tower that. Man, crazy game already. And I love this about Sahara. Lakota will click up pretty soon. Yeah, Dave is very far away. I mean, very, very far. Yeah. Uh, compare that to Nubians. Nubians uh, could be aging soon. In fact, Nubian player will not be very far from a Mongol player. Yeah. So the first merchant, there, Dave's merchant, got down. Oh, check this out. Tower coming on Dave's wood. Yeah. And Dave is just finding it very hard to get a wood. Uh, Stable wood income now, man. Yeah. This, this is looking very, very bad for El right now. Yeah. And and what happened? Oh, coin went wow. uh, military Mill two. two in yeah. ancient age. Well, I I I've seen that done with Turks, but I have to say it's the first time I've seen it done with French. Yeah. And and uh, <laughs> TNT is getting a tower here. Oh my god! And that tower, I am pretty sure that tower will complete because just because it's Korean. If, if yeah. he just needs awesome. to send enough villagers, man, he sends enough villagers that that is going to be an annoying tower. Yeah. Uh, and raids on Boo's wood camp. Linky is just all over the place now, and yeah. he, he just used silver, aged up sixty four knowledge. Oh, and Mongols, Mongol pair going for commerce too. What do you think about that? Gosh. Not sure if I agree with that situation, considering how uh, how behind Dave is. Yeah, because yeah. if in this such in such situation, one could just Linky Linky could just go and attack the city of Otrar, very easy target. Yeah. And the wealth is not very good for uh, Boo either. It's just forty two. They did find a uh, PLA did find diamond. It looks like Linky's room to use it. Oh yeah, I ho I hope uh, Timeless gets a a tower here, or maybe even a city here. Yeah, 
So you would be a pretty good idea. Yeah. I have to say things are not looking very bright for you at the moment. Mao says Wujin doesn't tower rares. Well, it would be good if he did, but anyway, uh, uh, he did tower sugars though. Sugars towered, probably mm. could get diamonds is definitely worth towering for Lakota. Oh man, French French player will need a lot of time to age. The worst part is the coin doesn't have good wealth income. Uh, hey Salman, it's TNO, co casting. Yeah, so far EL is doing horrible. I will say that categorically. Yeah. With no holding back. And nice. And it's all started with that first raid from Linky. And after that, Dave is just not recovered yet. His score is horrible. Yeah. Yeah, Both Linky all, showed great anticipation. Right. So Eric's that, in the front. Denying that city, stop. I mean, also almost stopping the second city and this tower by Timeless. Dave is. Not in a very good condition at this point. Boo yeah. is let's see, Boo is sharing that bison with the Lakota player. Nice. Also going for tobacco. His raiders are in a very unsafe place. And Linky is uh, ready for attack. Siege factory coming out. Uh, Despot, in fact. Wait, what? Despot? Oh, 90 wealth income. He's almost like the Inca player from last game. Yeah, for sure. Dave says 93 despot. And a nice raid on Amber. Linky will get that light cavalry raid. And Linky has a militia on Bison, which should get the job done. But it looks like it's not finding a way to raid it. Oh man. Never seen that happen before. Yeah, the pathing in Rise Nation is so dumb. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Timeless just pointed out that they don't know, the EL doesn't know about relics. And yeah, they don't. Timeless is using relics there. Nice raid yeah. by Timeless. He is, he has built a, uh, a stable behind. Uh, Lakota are very useful and annoying. Yeah, for sure. Uh, His eco is great. Timeless says going to kill uh purple link yeah, link. Dave's in trouble. yeah. I, I don't know wait 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 where is yeah dave dave will be in trouble you're right usually players don't go for my attack just hold on a second Linky is moving his horse archer around. Oh my god, we're gonna see a militia raid. Um, He's going for it. This is like how it usually happens, except in reverse. Since uh, Dave, well, since Boo is very well, very well known for his militia rushes. Yeah. And the good part about militia rush for, for the despot player to militia rushes that 
when they destroy units they get plunder and they can easily replenish those militia but when the senator player goes for despot rush he doesn't get that back right but then he does get the healing so also that yeah i feel Who's i feel very one thing i really like what we did is we put a, a very wounded archer in the city so the arch just so the city would you know have an attack mm -hmm. that is right oh look at that look at that here um this French player definitely won't be killing in time or I see he is getting despot three sieges he it's... made too many archers I don't I don't see why yeah oh and uh, looking very difficult for looking very difficult for boo actually yeah that's a lot of archers he yeah. has eight archers linky yeah that's a lot of archers and at the same time I, I don't agree with Boo's choice to go for Commerce 2 and then Senator. Yeah. I thought it was it would be a Commerce 2 Despot, which would make sense in this case. Yeah. Because it's clear that uh, Dave is on the edge right now. He he has he has to pull all of his militia to just survive that city. Right. And oh big... my god, wait a second. Just leave everything and look at coin. Yeah, big rush in the bottom. This is, bottom. This is an all-in rush. And, and I actually don't. I I like that TNT city is right here. Whoa! And wow. Dave is also coming here. Dave is also coming yeah. here. This is. <laughs> Holy God! This is uh. And every this, this is, is every so militia. I mean, Red doesn't have as many units, but TNO has TNT has all of his militia here. Yeah. Oh Dave. wow! Taken by Dave. Yeah, Dave has all of his militia. Oh my God, B uh, Linky does <laughs> capture the city, but I'm telling you, if this if the city goes down, oh my God, Dave, yeah, I'm they take the city. Yeah, this is crazy. I think it would have been better if the French player got it. What because just happened they... here? Yeah, you're right. The French player would be able to spam <laughs> units, but what oh, just yeah, happened still. here, man? <laughs> it's a total. We don't know what's happened. <laughs> we don't know what happened. Yeah, and and wait, wait, Linky is go Linky's oh, going. Oh, Linky is going back. Linky is like, what the hell are these guys doing? <laughs> How did they lose city? Oh my god! I would normally. Well, I think. Mm -hmm. I thought El was dead and buried. Yeah, but... this this just revived them. <laughs> Should never count the elites out. Yeah, and uh, poor poor Linky had to move it back. He had such a great advantage on his side there. Yeah. Oh, okay. They they do get things back, and I think this with this Dave is just back on his feet now. Yeah. Uh, Dave lost a lot of units, by the way, to raids. Is I see a completely empty wood camp and some empty wood, uh, metal miners. Right. Yeah, it looks like uh, Timeless was still raiding with this heavy power. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This is difficult. This is looking, looking very difficult. Um, oh, by the way, what, what happened? I don't know what happened, but... And I also do blame TNT a little bit for not having a tower over there. Yeah, that's true. He's he's Koreans, too. No yeah. cheaper towers. He's getting a temple on that city. And uh, TNT does, is not using diamonds or relics, which is also a little strange. Yeah. Looks like Boo's coming under pressure again. From oh yeah, Boo, Boo, Boo lost that city again. He is getting his militia, but won't be much use. Nah. Yeah. Oh! Great snipe by Dave. Killed... Um... Timeless Senator. Oh, and yeah, he's got a lot of units though. It looks like they and this will is, be again all in uh, uh, another all in. Dave yeah. realizes that if they don't, they don't kill here. There's no way this game will. Yeah, Ooh. and Dave just took. Oh wait, hold on, nine health. I wonder if he's gonna take the second. Time. Wait a second. There are two towers going up. Oh no. man, there are two towers going up, and both of them are almost there. 
Come on, two towers. Come on, two towers. One tower got in, by the way. One tower did complete. It's yeah. time for Yellow to got all of his militia right now. Oh god. Coming. Oh. Greens, <laughs> greens, uh... Look at, look at. I feel like it would have been tech. much better for Boo to just go and capture Karakorum or Mayapan. Yeah, I agree. But he has no siege. Oh no. Oh, he, no, has. Never mind. he has Link... three sieges. Link he has, has three sieges. He yeah. can capture Mayapan right now. He doesn't need to save. Yeah, because um, end of the day. And and. Whoa, I wonder. If, whoa. I wonder if he would take a different decision if he saw Dude, Dave's. Dude, check, uh... check this out. Linky's merchant is not utilizing silver. He's just assuming it's it's there, but it's not. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. It's it's such, too... such. Oh crap, man! I have nothing to say. Okay, Linky with a great ambush. Oh, but coin has the the cavalry now, so not too many now. Coin, the city. Oh, uh, now he's getting round because the Lakota is still has yeah. hot whites, phalanxes. Oh, Linky realized that his merchant is not working, so he redeployed it. That was Ooh. smart. Who? Okay, nothing lost yet. Linky could age and finish the game still. He's yeah. It's very, he's gonna be able to click up once then. Yeah. Now I'm starting to doubt if that's, that front capital was a good idea or not. Yeah, he needed to tower. But I think it was great from Dave, you know, just making the decisive, making the decision that, you know, I need to take this city no matter what. I'm yeah. gonna use all my militia to do it. And he did it. Yeah, so I'll say if any other team apart from EL, I would have just given hope, uh, given up hope. <laughs> yeah. But it's EL. Oh, and now finally Boo is going on raids and he, he finds Linky's salt merchants. Probably will find that diamond if he looks a little... Yeah, he's scanning with uh, Light Horse with Cataphracts. Yeah, oh, he finds the salt. That diamond yeah. has been helping Linky a lot. I I, yep. I would I would say they should go for Mayapan, man. Come on, let's go for Mayapan. And I I just Stop. hope. <laughs> Dave is just researching science one. <laughs> <laughs> In 20, 22 minutes. Oh man. He's the only one with science researched on the EL team. Oh yep. Yeah, Bugard, Bugard. I mean, he he went straight hard there, and that's a lot of units actually for uh, timeless. Yeah. Still think uh, PLA is in the driving seat. Just hold on. And Dave City gets taken. had some issues let's start again and timeless captures the city come on linky why are you going at the wrong cities they they could be instantly destroyed right now if if, if he comes on mayaban yeah or maybe linky is just scared that yeah i think he's just scared that if boo gets too much lead he'll be problem by the way link yeah, link is doing great that city of otrar captured again dave's eco is actually pretty good yeah and thanks to that city loss dave gets another city and coin also not doing bad actually yeah he's going for the, he's going for the capital again. yeah now with three towers behind uh, is that three towers uh... is he gonna lose it reduced but not taken 
Yep. This point. Dave has enough knowledge to age. Really? Yeah, yeah. just not enough food. Yeah. It's looking very difficult. I see Dave is going for raiding uh, Silver. Boo has already called uh, GG, by the way. Yeah, Boo calls GG. I, I can see why. But yep. Bolos is coming from Linky. And these guys, only if these guys knew about relics and and diamonds over there, they could raid yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, or take it themselves. Yep. So here is almost everything that Boo has got. Oh, and Dave is coming over here. Boo still loses capital though. Yeah, there's no saying that. This aggressive newbie in play, I never, I don't see it very often. Probably yeah. first time me seeing it, but it certainly worked out very well. Blinky man. Yeah, um, wait. Uh, Dragonio says... Yeah, actually PLA never played against EL. So Linky will not be holding this city for too long because he lost sieges, but yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, whoa, whoa, it's... whoa, coins last push. <laughs> Look at those hopeful militia. <laughs> I, I, I am, I'm very confident that coin will get this cast back. Coin plays really well <laughs> yeah. in this game. And, but it's just that Linky and, I mean, Linky did amazing. Yeah, he did. So, so far, let, let's be clear, uh, PLA Art of War has not lost any series, even in the double elimination round. So they have almost, they have won every best of whatever. Yep. Wow. Coin is just enjoying his day of glory, trying to take that uh, city. Oh, yep, he captures it. <laughs> so cheeky. That is, damn. EL has lost their second game now. Linky with the highest number of kills, followed by Coin, Dave, Boo. Uh, did not do so well this time. And yeah. I think you're right. I think that Commerce 2, mm -hmm. it really hurt EL. Yeah, that Commerce 2, he, he could never use that. And the problem was uh, going Senator after that, it's even worse. Yep. He has no metal ever, yeah. basically. So with that, we are at 2-1, score of 2-1. I will have to leave now, uh, but let's continue this cast tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Tiano, for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. So we got it. three games have been cast so far, and contrary to a lot of people's expectation, it's not a 4-0. I was actually expecting 4-0. Uh, PLA is in a lead of with 2-1. And if things if things keep, keep looking good for PLA like this, then maybe they will meet you guys in the grand final. Hey, we'll see. I mean, I'm sure people were saying that about uh, AZ after... Uh... They went up 2-1, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, and you guys you guys did lose against uh, PLA Art of War once. So this would, if, if they make it to Grand Final, then it'll be very surprising, man. <laughs> it'll be very, <laughs> very surprising. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and thanks, TNO. I'll continue this cast uh, tomorrow. See you all. Bye-bye.
So oh guys, this is looking very similar to Tough Alpha and AZ. They also ended up at 1-2 the first three games. Let's see if we'll see the same outcome tomorrow. I'll, maybe I'll cast this or somebody else would. But we'll, we'll definitely try to finish this uh, discuss tomorrow. <laughs> 